Hey, what's happening, YouTube? Rod J back to take a look at another beard. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. Going to take a look at one here local for where I'm at, located in northern Kentucky, Cincinnati area. This is going to come from Braxton Brewing. They are based out of Covington, Kentucky, one of our newer brewers. This is their Crankshaft IPA. As you can see, comes in a nice little can here. Comes in an ABV of 6% and also 75 IBU. So we should have some pretty good hoppiness there. But as I mentioned with some of the other videos, Cincinnati is really growing with some of the breweries. And right now we just have over probably about 25 breweries, um, 26, 27, somewhere in that area between Cincinnati, Ohio, Northern Kentucky, and then also you throw in um, South uh, East Indiana. And we still have more even growing, not even counting the ones that are probably about 45 to 50 miles from here up in Dayton, Ohio. And then when you go down to Lexington and also Louisville the other way, a lot of good breweries just popping up all around the area. If you get a chance to come down around Cincinnati, you definitely want to check out some of the beers. But let's go ahead and get this one open and get it into the glass so we can check out the crankshaft. Now I'll put more about this beer in the description. Uh, I'm not going to try to read everything off the little can here, but some nice little details about this one. So there we go. We get it into the glass. Came out with a nice uh, just over two finger head. As you can see, the head itself is actually barely off-white some nice tight bubbles in there um, nice little foaminess to the head you look at the clarity of the beer very nice and clear as you can see so not really too much haze on this one they actually condition their stuff before it goes to the cans um, everything they actually serve unless it's in a growler does come out in a can I believe when you get it to the light you have that nice golden orange uh, color you expect to have with an IPA very pretty looking beer lots of lively carbonation taking place when you get it to the light and even out of the light you can see like I mentioned earlier some of that bubble action taking place so a very nice looking beer as far as the aroma big notes come right out of the glass getting that big hit of kind of that grapefruit type scent getting some of maybe a little bit of an orange or a tangerine in the background from the hops nice little bit of a little bit of a spice kick in there but a very nice earthy dank type um, aroma coming out uh, definitely have a little bit of that pine as you expect to have off an IPA as well and overall really a great smelling beer this is one of their flagships there at uh, Braxton Brewing as well so it is served all year round going in for the taste getting hit up front with some big flavor getting hit with a lot of bitterness on the tongue um, kind of right to the front of the tongue but not necessarily kind of in that tip area like a lot of other beers have been it kind of gets right there and then it kind of settles down pretty easily um, nothing on the back end on the swallow goes down very nice nice crisp break on the back end very dry on the tongue as far as the carbonation it sits very nice definitely going to have a nice medium body beer here good mouthfeel flavors open up nicely inside the mouth carries about an average duration as I'm sitting here talking I am getting some of the flavors kicking around but it doesn't really get up into kind of the cheek area or really to the back of the throat this one does stay towards the front half of the mouth as well you do get a little bit of that alcohol coming through uh, not too much on the astringency though but the alcohol flavor is there a little bit that you kind of get that kind of uh, coming out of it on the uh, finish but it does go down pretty good for an IPA um, I do feel some of the carbonation now kicking up a little bit more from some of the bigger um, swallows I was making on the beer you get some nice lacing on the glass as you can see as it goes down as well but overall a nice looking beer definitely one you can easily kick back with um, with this kind of IPA just like a lot of the others something you can pair up nicely with some of the uh, meats out there things like pizza something that might be a little more heavier this can actually go with as well and almost has a little bit though of a peppery type taste not sure on all the ingredients they actually use in this one but it does have a little bit more of a I would say a spice kick than some of the other IPAs out there but overall a nice solid rendition from them on the crankshaft and it's not your typical IPA in my mind um, you have the aroma from the citrus flavors up front that you expect to have but it's really that taste it does have a little bit of something different. I don't know if everybody's going to really enjoy this from some of the IPAs that are out there. I think it's definitely worth a shot if you have a chance of picking this one up. But for me, 
I think it's different enough that I do like to drink this once in a while. So I think it's solid overall. I'm actually going to give this one a, a 3.5 or a B, 3.5 out of 5. I think it's solid. It's not going to be something, like I said, I would hunt down all the time in that IPA area, but I think it is a nice rendition of the IPA. I think Braxton has kind of come through with this one. So, again, this is Braxton Bruin, their Crankshaft IPA. They're out of Covington, Kentucky. If you've had it before, let me know what you think. I know some of the people that watch the channel are local here, so maybe they can chime in with some comments on what they think about Braxton Bruin as well. I'm going to go ahead and finish thinking this one, maybe come back with another one here in a bit. But I appreciate you swinging by to check out another video. And look forward to seeing you in the next one. As always, if you like what you saw, please remember to hit that like button. And of course, to subscribe if you want to stay up to speed on other videos. So with that, I'm going to say cheers. I look forward to seeing you next time. Keep drinking good craft beer.